Hey Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So recently I've posted a couple of videos regarding Google Sheets and the fact that Google is giving Google Sheets quite a little bit of attention once again, where they have started rolling out some new features. And I'll leave um, one or two videos in the end screen of this video that I have posted previously. Now just to let you know about a new upgrade that is expected to roll out soon to Google Sheets, where Google has now just integrated AR artificial intelligence into sheets and this is according to paul covert over on x in a recent um, post um on x previously known as twitter now basically some of the improvements we are going to see is it will help you process spreadsheets much more easily you'll be able to understand the data generate formulas and tables and just to go through a couple of steps taken from that post over on x if you would be interested and currently this is not available to most users you have to be part of the workspace labs to be able to test uh, the artificial intelligence that's now been in integrated into sheets so just take note of that and this hasn't rolled out yet to the general public so just to go through five different uh, steps regarding the integration now of ar in sheets first of all you can access and collaborate with gemini so as we can see, you open Google Sheets and click on the button to the left of your profile picture. You can co collaborate when Gemini opens and automatically summarize your spreadsheet. You can click on the arrow to bring up the suggestions. And if you don't see the button, obviously, um, you need to be part of the Workspace Labs to see the AI integration into Google Sheets. Then moving on to the next kind of integration and what you can do with AR in Google Sheets is you can generate a formula where you can ask Gemini to create a custom formula for you and um, AR understands your data and then will adapt the formula to your table and basically a prompt example in this case would be write a formula that finds the policy with the highest insured value so we can see that in that example provided and here's another example um, the next step number three is you can insert the formula. So just to give you a, a brief example of that, you have two um, options. You can copy and or paste the formula where you want it, and you can select an empty cell and click on insert to have Gemini insert the formula into your table. In both cases, um, you can, of course, modify the formula once it has been inserted. So that's step number three. And the second last one for the purpose of this video is you can use it to explain your data. So Sheets AR can also explain the data you see. So this apparently comes in handy, for example, when someone sends you a file for the first time. And the prompt example, as we can see uh, in this case, is explain this spreadsheet like I'm five years old. So if you really are battling to understand a spreadsheet, you can ask it to explain that spreadsheet basically um, to the level of a five-year-old, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction and then the fifth example is you can create a table so we just head to that and you can collaborate with Gemini which can also generate a table from scratch you can describe the type of table to be created and you can click on insert once Gemini has generated a result and a prompt example basically would be create a social media tracker for marketing and there we go. This is just an example of that from um, Paul Kovitz's uh, post over on X recently regarding Gemini AR that's expected to start rolling out soon in Google she Sheets. And just remember, if the, bus if the button doesn't appear yet to the top right next to your profile picture, um, its deployment is using a controlled rollout to a limited subset of users. So you need to be part of the Workspace Labs currently to get access to this feature. And of course, um, if this does become officially available uh, in the future to the general public, obviously I'll let you guys know and keep you posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.